Hi, my name is Richard Gill with Knowles Aviation. We've been asked to come to your air show and we really appreciate the invite. What I'm going to do today is go over safety brief with the Sea Harrier. The Sea Harrier is a tactical jet. It's a little bit different than a lot of aircraft that you may, have, may be familiar with. I'm going to go over some of the safety issues should we have an incident. Hopefully it's all information you'll file away and never use, and I hope you guys have a boring day today, other than the air show. The uh, aircraft currently right now does not have oxygen on board, so you don't have to worry about liquid oxygen or gaseous oxygen. Uh, the battery is in the back in a compartment that's hard to get to, so uh, getting to the battery and cutting the cables isn't really an option. The uh, engine is a high bypass turbo fan. It's a ducted fan, so if you're going to shoot water down here, be mindful that it's a turbo fan. A lot of the air is not going to go into the engine, so you just have to keep blowing water in there until you can get the thing to uh, drown itself out. Uh, if you approach the aircraft, be mindful of the exhaust nozzles if the engine is still running. And depending on deflection of the nozzles, the wing tips underneath the nose here, there's reaction control ducts. You might be mindful of that. Okay, normal canopy operation. Push the top of this lever, the lever pops out. Pull the lever down. The canopy cracks open a little bit. Just take your hand. Now you're open. I return the lever so that it's out of our way. Now you have full access to the canopy. If for some reason this lever does not work, okay, there's two ways to get into the canopy after that. First way, take a putty knife, one on either side simultaneous, stick it right here in this groove, and you'll find the latch, and you lift up on the latch. They have to be done simultaneous or one latch is going to hold it closed. So you just kind of shove it in here and then lift up. The other side will do the same and it will roll back out of the way. If all else fails, you take your crash axe, bust through the canopy and get at it. Alright, the canopy does not have the pyrotechnics in it. So this little here where it says press catch face away, full loop forward, disregard that. We do not have the debt cord that goes around the canopy. So doing this will do us no good trying to get into the canopy. Two ways to open it, three ways to open the canopy are the normal operation we covered with the, this lever, putty knives in here to lift the latch, and crash axe through the glass itself. Okay, here's the canopy latch. The putty knife is going to go in, engage and lift up and that should let the uh, canopy unlock and push back. Remember it has to be done on both sides simultaneous. Okay, you'll come into the cockpit. We've got the canopy open by whatever means necessary. First thing you want to do, this lever right here. When he's flying, it's normally down in this position here. You have to reach down to this knurled part, pull it, lift it up until it clicks. What that is, that is the safety of the seat. It's just like a safety on a pistol. Even though it's safe, we still want to stay away from the trigger. The first trigger is this right here, above his head. Anything that is black and yellow, stay away from it the best you can. Okay? The second one is down here between his knees. In a little bit, of, in a few seconds, I'll show you why we worry about this one, not so much the one up top. The one up top is plain and simple. You can see it, you know where it is, it's, you know, it's there. This one, in a few minutes, you're going to see why we worry about it. Okay? This lever comes up and locked. That is the safe, the seat is safe. It should not go. Keyword, should. Okay? You're going to come to it, you're going to see it, you pull down on the neural part, pull it up until it locks. Okay? With the pilot in here, it's going to be underneath his right elbow. So you're going to have to look for that. We'll go over that in a minute when the pilot gets here. 
he'll be in a five point harness. This mechanism here will release the harness. He's got his shoulder belts, his lap belts, and his center belt all attached to this mechanism here. To release the mechanism and all the harnesses at the same time, you pull this pin, rotate it clockwise, it'll only rotate clockwise. You cannot rotate it. If you're trying to rotate it, it doesn't rotate, go the other way. You hit it, all the belts release. Okay, now he's released and these will fall down. And now our lower trigger for our ejection seat is covered. That's why we worry about this one. You reach down here to move these belts, you grab this lever, and we could fire the seat, even with the safety engaged. So we're mindful. Okay? On, his, on each leg, around his, just below his knee, are the leg restraints. You have to reach down, push these silver pins in, and it just falls apart. Don't worry about where they land, just squeeze and done. Squeeze and done. Okay. Right over here are the battery master switches. One, two. During flight, they'll be both be forward. Just reach up. Pull them to the center position. They kind of lock in position. You can feel them as long as they're center position. You go too far, not a problem. Just click them back up. Okay, if for some reason the throttle is up, you want to reach up, pull it back, lift this, push it all the way aft. Once again, you're going to pull it back. It's going to catch. Just take your forefinger, this little hook piece here. See this right here? You're just going to reach up with your forefinger, pull it right back. That should kill power or the engine. Okay? This is the nozzle lever. You don't have to worry about that. Just worry about this big honking thing here with all the buttons on it. Okay. We've got the seat mechanically safe. Next thing to do is release him from the harness. Pull the pin, rotate clockwise. It will only rotate clockwise. Just give it a pop. The entire harness falls apart. Remember, watch for this handle. All these uh, straps fall over it. You don't see it. Okay. I want to add two comments. The seat can be fired by either the lower handle or the upper handle. Okay, the upper handle when you pull it uh, releases a face shield so it will pull out about a foot uh, enough so that the pilot can pull it down over his face before the seat fires. So this one if it is dislodged you've still probably got another foot to go before it actually fires something if the seat is not mechanically safe. You're okay with the seat mechanically safe. The lower handle on the other hand only needs to move about a quarter of an inch and it's going to fire something. The first step is always to mechanically safe the seat and then the pyrotechnics that are in the headrest, in the back of the seat, and the seat back rockets are protected except from fire. If they, they, you could get a cook off if they get hot enough. So you want to try to, the first step is put the fire out and then get the, safe the seat and get the pilot out.